Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman. Welcome to the 12th video of the Texas RPLS Q&A review. The call of the question states that the General Land Office keeps records of all the following documents except original county maps, land patents, land certificates, easements and encumbrances of real property, and GLO working sketches. To begin with, let's think about the purpose of the Texas General Land Office. You upsize your food, so why not upsize your study materials? The NLC Combo has everything you need to pass the FS, PS, or Texas RPLS exams. Combos include a full-length hard copy exam book, a pre-programmed HP 35 calculator, and a fully online prep course that includes a full-length practice exam. That's two full exams that cover every topic you'll face on test day. Upsize to a combo and upsize your future career today. When Texas was founded as a republic, it was totally destitute. It had something like $50 or less in the general fund. No assets because the country was a wreck after the war. And it also had a lot of problems. We've got hostile Indians, hostile Mexicans, a populace who are really a bunch of rabble rousers. You know, these guys do not take kindly to a central government. So they're very hostile to taxes and government in general. So Texas as a republic starts off on a very, very precarious footing. So what did Texas have as assets? Well, it had real property. And as you'll learn in future videos and lessons, President Sam Houston was a pretty smart guy, and he basically saved all of the Texas land from getting sucked up by the United States government when they became a state later on. But here, we have nothing but land. And boy, was the land huge. Millions of acres of property owned by the New Republic and ready to trade for cash or loans if possible. Another thing that would help you answer this question very quickly is knowing the purpose of the Texas General Land Office. The purpose of the GLO was to dispose of public land to raise money and also to protect public land for the welfare of Texas citizens. So what the General Land Office does is they catalog real property transfers, purchases, leases from the public, which is the Republic of Texas or the state of Texas, to a private party. Now, once the private party has purchased the property, the General Land Office could care less what they did with it. So in the case of a county records, they catalog every private to private transfer available. But the Texas land office only catalogs the first transfer of a property from the sovereign to a private person. And once that is done, the general land office is done collecting records. So the General Land Office is going to catalog when county land is sold to a private party. A is incorrect. The General Land Office is going to record when somebody meets all the requirements of a certificate and they get the land free and clear. B is incorrect. A land certificate is something that says the Republic of Texas hereby awards 320 acres to John Smith, full stop. That is a offer for John Smith to purchase land. C is incorrect. And finally, a GLO working sketch is basically where a bunch of different property deeds are pieced together. And if you submit that thing to the GLO, they will file it in their records and they'll keep a copy. So E, echo, is incorrect. The only thing that is a possible answer choice is D, 
delta. And that's because easements and encumbrances between private parties is not something the GLO will record. And therefore, the correct answer is D, easements and encumbrances of real property. Would you like even more? We have created an entirely comprehensive Texas RPLS exam course. It's got slides, videos, practice questions, and handouts. And we go over all the major topics on the RPLS exam, and we give you the information you need to pass on the first try. Included is a full-length, eight-hour practice exam, which will get you ready for this exam and get your mind set on game day. Go to nlcprep.com slash RPLS for more information.